what's up everybody and thank you so much for tuning in yet again i hope each and every one of you is having a good time and is doing well how about you let me know where you're tuning in from by talking to us by talking to us rather on our facebook page that is rising stars ea rising stars capital e dot capital A. I go by the name of Vivian Degwa and today I am having a gospel artist with me who goes by the name Jose Blessed, not Blessed. He just corrected me. I was saying Jose Blessed and he insisted, no, not Blessed, just call me Blessed. So Jose Blessed, yes. how are you? I'm so fine. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Why, why do you insist it's Blessed? I mean, when we write, we write it Blessed, right? Blessed. Mm. B-L-E-S-S-E-D, -S -S -E right? Yes. So why do you have to insist it's Blessed and not Blessed? Okay, it's just, I, I think it's just a matter of a... I think there is no that big reason attached. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I just like being mentioned blessed. You feel it's something better <laughs> when yeah, you say it sounds blessed. Better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, blessed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you're a blessed person, and that's why you decided to call yourself that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just consider myself blessed. Yeah. yeah. Because of the, the great thing the uh, Lord has done unto my life. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are some of the things that you you can put out? You know, since you're a minister of the gospel, so it's like a it's like a ushuhuda, you yeah. know, telling us something that you know God has done to, into your life that is so great. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Okay, maybe to begin with, eh? uh, one of the greatest things that I would like to thank God for is, in the first place, I'm a total orphan. Yeah. Okay. Maybe to begin at that point, eh? yeah. And uh, normally, you know, if you are an orphan, it's so tough. Yeah, when it's you so are tough. That's an early age. Yeah, it's so tough, both financially, socially. Like, I hope you know, you know how it's, it's, it's very tough. And then uh, I didn't expect that God could have risen me to this point. Yeah, I'm in school. I'm uh, at the university. I'm serving in a big church. You know. Like I can talk and people listen, I can see people like, you know, it's siki to rahisi. Yeah, I just consider myself blessed. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's all. actually a blessing to consider that you were orphaned at quite an early age, but here you are now. I mean, you managed to be who you are without the help of your parents because of God, you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. and you know, like uh, from the, okay, I don't have parents, but uh, I thank God for giving me a church. I'm in a church uh, called County Victory Center, Nyanchabo Pefa, and uh, Mam Harriet Robbie Ken and Ken himself. So, under that care, I grew up. Yeah. So, yeah. you realized you can sing at what particular age since you mentioned you were serving in the, in the choir? Okay, when I was in high school, particularly in Form 2, yeah, I remember in the first, in the first day uh, we were being trained. The choir was being trained, and I was uh, one of the guys who was singing very, very, very bad, <laughs> and I was isolated. But uh, this mom I called Harriet, he, she encouraged me. She told me that you can do better. Yeah, you're one of the best vocalists that it can be. So, nikadipatia tumoy and. I found myself here. Yeah, you kept at it. So while um, you were writing your lyrics at that age, you know, while you were still growing musically and all, do you, first of all, um, are you a writer? Are you a songwriter yeah, yeah, or yeah. you have someone who writes songs? No, no, no. I write songs for myself. All right, now yeah. here comes the question. <laughs> so now um, while you were starting um, to write your own songs at that particular time, um, did you get your lyrics from the Bible? Do you take the Bible and find, like you open Psalms and then you find something that has been said, you know, like, um, as I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you know, that song, um, Echo Dida's song, it's directly from the Bible. Do you do the same thing or what inspires you to write your music? No, okay, this mind is different, eh? it is in this manner. Me, I read the Bible, but don't quote the exact verses, okay. Sometimes I quote, but sometimes I don't. In most cases, I don't quote. But what I do, I read the Bible, get the message, I paraphrase, I put down the song. So yeah, that's how I come up with my songs. But then I don't say that I, I will not quote Bible verses in my songs, but I will quote. But in most cases, you know, it's a matter of being creative. You want to show people like 
how God has blessed you with creativity. Yes, you don't quote. That is, uh, many people have been quoting exact verses. Uh, I'm not criticizing, but uh, it's, you do something different. You read the Bible, you paraphrase it. You come up with the message. I think the most important thing is the message. Yeah. Yeah, that is. I feel paraphrasing is the uh, better way of doing it. Yeah. For, m for my case, I just think that's the best way for my case. Yeah. All right. I'll have to bring this question in, you know. Um, over the past weeks or, yeah, let me say weeks, there's been a controversy in the gospel industry. And actually, people right now are terming the gospel industry in Kenya as a fake and immoral um, industry. What do you have to say about that? Okay, okay. let me talk, I, this is what I'm going to say. Me, as far as uh, Jesus Christ is concerned, his suffering is concerned, I think that day I chose gospel as a genre. I think I knew what I would do. So I'm not going to talk about what those other guys did. I will just focus on... I know on whatever I know that is is right, yeah, to serve my God. That's all. Of course, you know, like criticism is there, and uh, not just because other people did what they did. What eh? Wanze Kusema now we generalize the gospel industry is ruined. No, so there are those people who are, yeah, yeah, just just a person, yeah. Don't just generalize. There are those people who are standing and serving God in truth and faith. So um, before I ask you this other question, have you f um, gotten the time or the chance to interact with some of the celebrities in the gospel industry, those who are, have already made it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, industry? yeah, some of them. You have, huh? So um, can, you, can you really um, tell us if fame actually changes some of the, these people's character? Do you feel like somehow they are changed by the fame and the money that comes with their names? Okay, sometimes, yeah, I just think sometimes and more so when somebody is, is not that strong spiritually, yeah. that's automatic. You know, like uh, when, uh, when you declare that you're serving God, you are now the target for the devil. Yeah, and if you're not strong spiritually, automatically the devil will attack you and will win. Yeah, so that is why you find that some people, if they come famous, they change, yeah, that is it. But if you have Jesus, he will always guide you that this is not the right thing. It's not, you know, fame is just, it's just, it's just a term. But you, you are the still, just a blessed, you know, yeah, that is. Um, so what exactly you're saying is that, um, as in we are all tempted by the devil once in a while, whether you are saved whether you are not, but it all depends with how strong you are okay, in the world. We are all tempted. But one thing I want you to know is that when you are saved, you are now the most target for, for the devil. Yeah. So that is why you see, like, uh, if I am a Christian and I'm found of a scandal, it will be more popular and, than that person who is not saved. Yeah. But one thing that sh people should know is that uh, even this gospel artists and those saved people they're still human beings yeah they're still human beings and they have weaknesses Ricky Melody's touch <laughs> 
Huku nafsi mwili na vyo vine tati Hali na yue nanzidia Na chungiza hata hakiki muma itati Na potoka na juwa na po kuenda stabili Hiyo siri ya mola Na chocha kasi pati labda tumajaliwa Nitaja pata dola Nitete Na pufika kushi Let's talk about your music now. You've been uh, doing this now professionally for like approximately three years or? Yeah. Am I wrong? For, for, Just for, for, for let's say for, 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 four years. Yeah. Yeah. for four years now. And you have um, around eight audios out already and uh, two videos. One is a collab and the other one is a single. And uh, the one that you're promoting right now is the single that is called Nitete. Let's talk about Nitete. What is Nitete all about? Nitete is just all about, hey, it's me now speaking to God, telling him to, to just hey, defend me, you know, like it was the first song, by the way. So as I was entering the music industry, I was telling to Nitete, yeah, to defend me, you know, it, it's, you cannot, as, as we had speak earlier, you said that there are so many scandals and whatever, you know, those are the things that I know that me as a human being, despite me doing gospel and whatever, yeah, I will find those challenges. Already I've come across with criticism, such like things, but I can thank God he's on my side, yeah. So it's all about that telling God to be on my side always, uh, despite of challenges and difficulties in life, yeah, that is all. Alright, so where can people find this song in particular and uh, where can they follow you on your social media platforms? Okay, this song is on YouTube, it's uh, on Dundo, yeah, for those who can't approach or can't reach the sites, sometimes when I go to the village they ask about my music, I give them hard copy, yeah, so they can get them on, on YouTube and uh, dundo.com and uh, they can as well follow me on Instagram at Jose Blessed. It is Jose underscore Blessed. Then on Facebook at Jose Blessed. Twitter, Jose Kenya One. Then I, that's all. Amazing. How about you wrap up the show for us by singing Nitete? So you want to sing? Yes. I can do it. Yeah. Yes. I can do it. Okay. You want me to do it all or I do just part of it? Oh. Manzo kawaida mugumu ila nafsi mwili navyo vinahitaji halina yo inanzidia na chungiza hata hakikimu mahitaji na potoka na jua napokwenda stabili hiyo siri ya mola na chota kasipati labda tumajaliwa nitaja pata dola nitete eh Napofika kushindwa Kila wakati uwe pande wangu Jiwe langu la pembeni Nitete Uponye mtima wangu Kila wakati uwe pande wangu Jiwe langu la pembeni Yeah, this is Joseph Blessed. Thank you. Awesome, awesome. Now remember, if you want to vote for your favorite Rising Star, you can do that easily by going to our Facebook page. That is Rising Stars EA. And um, put the name of the artist that you would love um, to be our Rising Star. And the song, for example, if you want to vote for Jose, all you have to do is just begin with the word Jose, and then you write Nitete. Kawaida mugumu, huku nafsi mwili na vyo vine tati Halila yue nanzidia, na chungiza hata hakiki muma itati Na potoka na juwa na pokuenda stabili, hiyo siri ya mola Na chota kasipati labda tumajaliwa, nitaja pata dola Nitete, na pufika kushindwa Kila kati uwe pande wangu, diwe langu la pembeni Nitete Mtima wangu, kila kati uwe pande wangu Emola, na kupenda sana Nitete, na pufika kushindwa Kila kati uwe pande wangu, diwe langu
mapembeni itete eh uponye mtima wangu kila kati uwe pande wangu emola na kupenda sana Mwana tupe amani Siwe kama zamani 